Welcome to episode 12 of PVTV, where we answer your solar questions. Today's question comes from Erwin, who asks us, Hi, I have a question. What is better, a Canadian solar 280 watt panel or a 350 watt solar panel? Thank you, Erwin, for your question. Ross, when is a 350 watt panel not better than a 280 watt panel? I just assume always that 350 was better than 280. It does sound better. Yeah. Figure is better. No. But the answer may surprise you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so in this case here, a 350 watt panel is not better than a 280 watt panel. Necessarily. Necessarily. Oh, when it's bigger. When it's just bigger. Back to finish yeah. here. Yeah. So, um, so when the panel's physically bigger, it doesn't mean it's any better. It's just got more space. So if you're comparing two solar panels, you may say it's you've got a 280 watt panel and a 350 watt panel. What you may actually be comparing is that one's physically larger than the other, yeah. it's not actually more efficient, which is fine, but just be aware that it's not a more efficient panel or more powerful, it's just a bigger, it's like sticking two solar panels together. Yeah, yeah. and <laughs> saying you've got a big efficient panel, yeah. but it's just bigger. I stole that example from Ross, he made it up <laughs> before. So, um, And what's the other way you can have a more powerful panel? So if you've got a 280 watt and a 350 watt, it can be more efficient, right? Yeah, it can be more efficient. So that's when efficiency comes into the, the um, equation mm. and if we look, look behind us that's a 280 watt panel there that's actually 327 watt panel so that's smaller it's smaller but it's way more powerful yeah so now we're not talking about size size is actually smaller it's actually more efficient there you go it converts the light to power a lot better than this panel this does. one here does yeah what's this one here that's a sun power it's a sun power and that's an lg that's an lg um 360 watt and that's a something um, Canadian solar Canadian. 280 watt. So there's two ways you can have more power in a solar panel. It can be physically larger, yep. in which case it's like sticking more solar panel on there to get more power. Yep. Second way can be more efficient. Yeah. Now you pay more for more efficiency. Yes, exactly right. So more efficiency costs more. Yeah. Um, bigger panel, it's generally about the same cost yeah. because it's just more panel. Yeah, it's not, yeah. It's not more technologically advanced. Yeah. Now keep in mind there is a little trick um, you can you can do rather than paying more money for a more efficient panel because to go from a, a say a 280 watt panel to a 350 watt more efficient panel you pay a lot of money for that because yeah. you're going from you know entry level or mid level solar technology it's a very advanced yeah. solar technology and you pay a lot for that to get the same output out of your solar system you can add more panels you can add more panels so rather than paying a lot more for um, a higher efficiency yeah. You can just stick an extra panel or two on the end and actually generate the same amount of solar power with a, a mid-tier panel than you would with a highly efficient yeah. solar panel. If you've got the space to have more panels, usually yeah. the high efficiency panels, they do cost more, but uh, a lot of the time people have very limited space and yeah. want to still get a good output from their system. They'll yeah. need, they can only look at something like a high efficiency small panel. Mm -hmm. um, if you, There's a lot of houses these days and a lot of people have a lot of space. So just tacking a panel or two on the end We'll give you the that same, result. same power output as having high efficiency panels. And it's much, much cheaper to add a panel or two yeah. than to go for a, a more technologically advanced solar panel. Yeah. Um, now, of course, if you're going for more technologically advanced panels, as we're calling them, they generally have better warranties. Um, yeah. And it's better. There's, there's a few other characteristics we can yeah. maybe look at in another episode, such as temperature and shading and that. Yeah. But um, as so, far as just power output goes. Yeah. Um, you can just add a couple more of the cheaper ones to get the same size output as if you had... If you've got the roof space. If you've got the roof space, you definitely need the roof space. There you go. Owen, thank you so much for your question. If anyone else gets questions about solar and battery systems, leave them in the comments below and we'll answer them for you in the next episode of PVTV. Take care.